Welcome to Speed Scene Live TV, the only show dedicated to the sportsman racer. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, Hedman Hustler Headers, m &H Tires, and TheFolk.com. With your hosts, Diana Might, Bruce Barker, Scott Lucky Hudson, Alex Rogio, Bob Beck, Bryant Layton, with Donnie Couch and Dar Hawthorne. Hey, welcome to the show. I finally get to be back in the studio. I've been like, you know, on assignment quite a bit lately. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> hey, uh, tonight we've got Bob Beck in, though. Bob, huh? Yeah. Uh, you got yeah. gas, Bob? I, got gas tonight? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Scott Lucky Hudson, fresh from his NMCA uh, <laughs> race at Pomona, California. Man, I was looking good about halfway through the mm -hmm. race. First halfway <laughs> through. Okay. Uh, and of course, our crew chief, Bruce Barker. Ah, uh, where's my wrench? Yeah. Yeah, or a bottle of vodka, or, yeah. you know. Oh, that is my wrench. Yeah, it is. Yeah, when he's yeah. a screwdriver to do it. Yeah, we, we could drink. We don't have the women here tonight. The closest <laughs> thing we got to that is, you know, Bob Beck. Donnie, what are we going to talk about tonight? Hey, hey well, uh, you know, it's uh, it's almost speedway season at Industry Hills, you know, up there at the Grand Arena over there in the City of Industry. So we're going to have Kelly Inman on tonight and talk about, you know, the opening date next week and what lies ahead this summer. And we're going to show some video of his great monster race they had at the end of the year last year with the European riders and stuff. And, of course, one of our favorites on the screen now, Maverick Malloy. And here's another one of our favorites, Artis Houston, that was out racing at the NMCA West. Hey, I met that cat this weekend, man. We're going to hang out. We're Facebook buddies now. That guy's Aww. a serious racer. <laughs> that little tire on the back, man, I don't know how he does it. He's got all that horsepower, and he gets it down the track pretty serious. It's amazing. Small tire, lots of power, big numbers. This weekend, May 25th, there's a great car show at Big Creek Lumber in Atwater, California from 10 to 2. In and next weekend, May 30th to June 2nd, Super Chevy Show will be at Bakersfield, California. I'm going to be up there racing. You can actually buy your spectator ticket and your racer tech cards online. Just visit thefoat.com. You can buy everything right there. That's what I did. I got all my stuff, all my credentials. I'm ready to roll in the gate and start racing. And uh, tonight we're going to try to show some more cell phone photos. If you take some of your cars, send them to us, email them to Speed Scene at AOL.com. Nice Speed Scene Live. Going to be a great band this June. The Speed Scene Live Nats, man. We're going to be there filming and racing, of course, for the Speed Scene Live Nationals. Lucky's getting the rig and the trailer all ready for the tow. Fresh box of brand new. These are brand spanking new. So go ahead and get one hand, whichever works best for the spanking. Speed Scene Live Ooh. stickers to hand out. I don't know where I was going with that. Plus, lots of free <laughs> t-shirts, hats, all this great stuff to give away. Get your car on TV. TV. And, of course, Curry Rear Ends, Lucky was modeling this jacket last week. They're going to be making custom-made jackets for all the winners, and these are sweet. Now, we're going to be filming the racers, doing interviews. Also, Scotty Richardson's going to be at Speed Team Live Nationals doing a class on the Friday, the day before the race. So that'll be Friday that Scotty Richardson's doing the class. You want more info? Just go to this address, schooledbyscotty.com. Come on down. Meet the whole crew here at Speed Team Live in person. And I'm Bob Beck. You'll have gas tonight with lots of Woodies to go along with it, but unfortunately got Bypass.com off-road report with Brian Layton will not be on tonight, but look for Brian in the studio in June. He's actually going to come up to the studio. We're going to let him in the door. We gave him the combination, right? Uh, so, uh, oh, shh, shh, shh. We gave him the wrong combination. I, man, I haven't yeah. seen Bryant in a long time. It'd be cool to have him here. Yeah, I, I don't even remember what he looks like. <laughs> and then coming up on Speed Scene Live TV, Boat Drags, Speedway Motorcycles, Sprint Cars, Drag Coverage from the NMCA West Pomona Race, Ken from Turtle Racing is talking about the Baja Racing and more. And I'm going to be doing some shows from the road. You know, I... I I don't know where, because on Tuesday it's in between race weekends, so it'll be a Walmart parking lot or a Love Truck stop, you know, places like that. But I'm going to give you updates on the Speed Scene Live Nationals, spe uh, updates on the Super Chevy Show, updates on the Bowling Green Race. But uh, like Bob mentioned, Brian Layton will be in here doing a special off-road show. Donnie and Dor, Dar, Dor, 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 Dor,
and Dar have a show planned while I'm gone, right, Donnie? Well, that's what I'm hearing. Dar, you know, and my agent haven't contacted me yet. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, hearing about but parental uh, guidance suggested yeah, yeah, yeah. on that show. There might be some alcohol. Yeah. We might even light up the cigars. Agent and stuff. Orange. No uh, women yeah. in the studio. Orange, uh-huh. is, this yeah. a, uh, is this a union gig here? Is it, which agent are you talking about? Your management's involved. You know, the Secret, publicity company. Secret agent. Secret, Secret agent. agent. Yeah. So <laughs> hey, uh, Secret, even he doesn't know who he is. We got a great show lined up. Before we jump into it, Bruce, I know that you've got Ike Heckler Jr. on the phone. He is the author of Drag Racing 101 and Drag Racing 201. Ike, welcome to Speed Scene Live. Hey, how you guys doing, man? It sounds like you're having a lot of fun. Well, we're trying to. We're trying to. We're trying our hardest. What's going on with you over there on the other side of the country, Ike? Well, it's funny you mention Walmart parking lot, Lucky, because I'm actually doing the interview from a Walmart parking lot right outside of Atlanta Dragway. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. My favorite place. Only back east they call them the Walmarts. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just um, I just treated myself to a pre-birthday dinner because I got to buckle down and run a four-day Lucas Oil National event from NHRA here at Atlanta Dragway. Oh. Wow. We Tell got us- um. We got uh, the regular Lucas Oil racers, you know, the Super Comp, Super Street, Super Gas. Uh, Model Mons is going to double up and run in Super Street and the 11 0 Index class. Uh, we also got 200 mile an hour top dragster, top sportsman cars, and uh, new for 13. I'm sure you heard about this tour. Lucky Rare Holly Davidson's coming in. We got Top Fuel, Pro Gas, uh, this is tough to say, Dragon, Bagger, Street Pro, Hot Street, and the Nitro Harleys, man. Mm. Well, that's pretty cool. The Screaming Eagle classes, uh, you got all kinds. But you know what I really like is that you're going to have those top dragster and top sportsman cars at the event. Yes, we are. Yeah, they're over 200 mile an hour, and uh, the crowd really loves those guys. Um, nice. The other thing that we're the other thing the NHRA uh, Lucas Oil is doing for 2013, I, I sure, I'm sure you heard of it, Lucky. We're running um, kind of like a triple paints all out there. We're picking the best 10 11 up, and 12 flat cars that can run the number and uh we're inviting all street cars race cars from around the uh, east coast if anybody wants to come out for the four-day event paying a 1500 hour uh, weekend purse because it's a double header this weekend wow ah. that's pretty cool deal they're, they're so they're getting a little added uh, incentive to the race There's some extra classes some more people coming in that's a pretty neat deal i yeah, yeah, yours truly has been actually uh, uh, hired uh, as a promo man, kind of, let's say, because I, I actually went round one at the Mella Yellow Nationals in Atlanta Driveway a couple weeks ago. Wow. Your first win? Yeah, well, no, I've had 56 oh, <laughs> round okay. wins. That's got to be... That's gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's uh, but still... The first national event, when that wind light came on, I'll tell you what, you know, that was something else. That's okay. still an accomplishment because you're running the Super Street class, right? Uh, yes, the so... Le Mans has actually been tuned up by uh, Chris Stanton, myself, and uh, Ken Kiefer, engine sponsor, to run a 1090 flat, and we also got to run 11 of this weekend, but... Uh, She's uh, she's real close, and the nice, neat thing about it, as you know, it's a foot brake car. So I'm gonna run it up against electronics oh. cars, and uh, I'll cut a double O six, and uh, you know, thirty five, O forty five, and get into the rounds. You know, that's pretty good. Non electronics taking on the computer cars and winning. That's Ooh. that's an accomplishment. Now I understand that there's a two for one admission deal. Ah uh, yes, yes. Thanks for bringing that up. There's a lot going on with this event. Basically, if uh, uh, if you bring your Mellow Yellow Nationals uh, event ticket, there's a two for one admission. Um, children under 12 are free with paid adult. The uh, admission fee is next to nothing. It's only ten dollars for Thursday, Friday, and only twenty for Saturday and Sunday. The full event for all four days is only thirty five. That's a and, good uh, deal. Yeah, it's only a hundred to enter the uh, index classes. By the way, so. For 100 bucks, a guy you know that can run 10 11 or 12 could come away with 1500 hours after Sunday. Well, Ike, that sounds like a cool deal. Hey, we're a little low on time tonight. we got to get going, but we appreciate you calling us and letting us know about this event, and good luck. Let us know how it all turns out. Hey, NHRA, Atlanta Dragon, and Lucas, uh, really, help, uh, really help us promote everything. We really appreciate you guys uh, allowing us this time. I know your, your show is booked. Really appreciate it, Lucky. Good luck with everything. You got it, Ike. Let's go for another round win this weekend, okay? Uh, how about four, man? There you <laughs> go. Four races. <laughs> do it, yeah. Yeah, just do it. All right. Sounds Thanks. good. Thanks, guys. Well, hey, you know, uh, we've got the industry 
the Grand Arena at Industry Racing event coming up a week from tomorrow. Donnie, I think we should uh, introduce our special guest tonight. Let's bring on Bob Beck. Or oh no, 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 no. Kelly Inman, man, my hero. This guy put on. Uh, he, he brought back good speedway racing to industry at the Grand at their beautiful arena, and uh, and then put on that monster race at the end of the year, and it was just phenomenal. Packed house. They were lined up for miles to get in the track and it was and it rained that day kelly was a little nervous a lot of mud hanging around but it was cold weather the fans it was standing room only and one of the greatest events i've ever seen it was a great event uh congratulations kelly now uh, you had european riders versus american riders you had a lot of stuff going on how did you put together this monster invitational uh, thank you. I'm I'm really happy to be here. Uh, the Monster Invitational took uh, quite a few months of work. Uh, we had Billy Hamill uh, and Monster Energy helping me out. We contacted some of the best riders from Europe, uh, some of the Grand Prix guys, uh, Thomas Gala, Freddie Lindgren, Antonio Lindback. Uh, we had Scotty Nichols, uh, Eddie Kennett um, from all, all over the world, Poland, Sweden, Brazil, uh, the United Kingdom, of course, and um, it, it was a ton of work, but man, that thing just went off. And of course, American Ooh. won it, just so everybody knows. Uh, you know? Oh, well, I oh, didn't realize the Europeans that. came over, they're pretty tough, but yeah, all Italy Americans on the podium. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was close. Just though. saying, it was close. We had some good racing with some of the uh, some of the European based guys, but they're not used to these shorter tracks. Um, it was really grippy, like Donnie said. The the it had rained. The 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 weather was really cold, so that that made it a little bit tricky. But it made it exciting for a lot of new fans that had come to to see it, and it was a standing room only event. Now, from the pictures I've seen, you're running side hacks too, and I hadn't seen those run before. Oh yeah, they're they're crazy. They're great, so, man. They're great to watch. The 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 person on the back, uh, the monkey, just, the monkey. They're yeah. hanging off. They're dragging the, their yeah, butt in the dirt. The monkey. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I got it's it like on my shirt. Right the monkey. Yeah, yeah. They, that's why it, we wore it. It's so exciting to watch that. And these guys are crazy and girls because there's a lot of ladies involved in that. In addition to this type of racing, you've also got the kids. Uh, every once in a while, you'll have like a Harley night where guys will ride their street Harleys around. Uh, oh, it's insane. Oh, wow. I, I've seen uh, sprint cars go around the circle, off-road cars, <laughs> ATVs. You know, Kelly, you guys put on a night of entertainment. The, the Speedway's great, and it's fantastic, but you guys don't stop at that. You just keep giving more and more and more. Thank you. We we really try. We've uh, we've got to make it a, a complete night of entertainment for everybody that's gonna uh, gonna attend. Well, I'll tell you. You know, it's a great place. You know, it's during the week. It's on a Wednesday night. I usually get there about I don't know seven. It starts at seven thirty. But well, you've got such a long drive. Yeah, I know. But hey, they got a band there. They got a great restaurant there. There's two bars. Not that I go there and drink. Oh you know, no, no, but, no, 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 you know, no. yeah, covered canopy over the track. Playback uh, video. It's lit very good. Great restroom. So hey, you're gonna bring the wife and kids. It's a nice, safe place. It's clean. It's beautiful. And, uh, Rock work. There's a view of the mountains as the sun sets. You're sitting in a comfortable seat under a roof. It's fantastic. In fact, let's show a couple of the uh, clips from uh, last uh, year's Invitational, and let's meet some of the European writers. Like... Well, we got most of the rounds in here tonight at the Monster Energy World Challenge. I'm here with Edward Kennett from Great Britain. Edward, how's your night going so far? Yeah, it was it was going well. Um, I made it to the semi-final, and... Um one lap to go in, in second position and uh, my plug cap come off so I actually you know, missed out to go into the final which was a shame because I would have been the only uh, European rider to, to make the final but uh, hey -o, hopefully I can get an invite back next year and uh, get in that final. Well this is a big event for Southern California and for Speedway we're uh, fortunate to have you guys come over here we're looking forward to seeing you next year what do you think of this little track out here in Southern California? Yeah you know it's, it's amazing it's a, tonight especially really good atmosphere you know um, Kelly Inman what they've done here you know put a brilliant show on Monster Energy um, without these guys you know they wouldn't be able to do this meeting today and um, it's, it's just fantastic. Well, Edward, you put on a great show tonight. You've rode hard, and we appreciate you coming out here. Looking forward to seeing you next year. I'll be back. Okay.
Thank you. How about that, Kelly, man? Those a lot of interviews with these guys, and they all love coming out here racing. They all uh, just the whole vibe was good. Well, you know, went to that practice session you had for them, and they weren't getting used to the track, and they were falling and crashing. But let me tell you, those guys. Uh, adapted that track pretty quick and uh they were a real threat over there and they really racing yeah they really have to they 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 race four or five six nights a week on different tracks throughout the world and it's uh they have to adapt to, to any condition but some of them never even seen a track this size except in pictures and video and, <laughs> is that and, right yeah it, it but they have to adapt and it, it just it went cr- it was insane it All was right. a really good event for those people that don't know what speedway motorcycles are Lunch, what what do they run for? They don't run front brakes. They don't run brakes at all. Do no brakes. No brakes at all. Uh, they're uh, the motors are basically a GM engine based out of Italy. There's Jawa engines that that okay. are JRM um, that are still floating around. But GM is is uh, basically the motor that's that's flying around and and the top one around the world. Uh, no brakes, no transmission. It's a dry clutch. And uh, it's dump and go at one speed. They're extremely quick. Um, they only weigh about 170 pounds. Is that? Wait a minute. Yeah. The whole bike? 170 pounds, uh, 500 cc on methanol. And uh, they're one, just they're yeah, extremely quick. The, the riders. Cylinder. The riders have on one of their shoes have a steel plate underneath the yep. boot because they're constantly dragging that in the dirt, right? Yeah, using it uh, as an outrick or some balance. God. Hey, and we're talking, you know. They go around four laps. There's four or five riders, wide open four laps, completely sideways around the whole deal. And it's, <laughs> it's pretty impressive. It's sprint cars on two wheels without a roll cage. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just like it, only totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, in fact, we've got another of the European drivers that Donnie got a chance to talk to. Let's talk to Frederick. Okay, we're here with Frederick Lindgren from Sweden. Hey, what do you think of Southern California racing? Yeah, it's great, but I had a, a bit of a rough night. Uh, started off pretty good, but then in my second round I got wiped out and uh, been a bit dizzy for the rest of the meeting, but uh, yeah, shit happens. Well, it's a pleasure to have you guys come over and do this. You guys are the best riders in the world, and to have you here at Southern California at our little racetrack, it's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, it's really cool to be here, and... Uh, I want to thank all the fans that's come here to watch. Uh, they've been great all night, and uh, hopefully the best man win. All right, Frederick. We wish you the best. We hope to see you back here in Southern California again. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Man, the, these drivers were great. The crowds were packed. They were doing interviews. They were signing autographs. It was a great night. We've got more stuff right after the break. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Bobby Boogaloo Schwartz, and when I'm not winning here at Industry Speedway, I'm watching Speed Scene Live. Racers, attend the Speed Scene Live Nationals at Great Bend, Kansas, the Big Bucks Race. The Speed Scene crew will be there live filming your car. Want to get on Speed Scene Live TV? Go to scradragstrip.com for more info. See you there. For over half a century, Curry rear-end components have been twisting out the torque and taking the punishment. And the new Curry lineup is stronger than ever. Some of the world's most capable, hardest-working vehicles depend on Curry gears, which is why you can too. Street cars, hot rods and resto rods, drag cars, rock-crawling four-wheel drive vehicles, whatever you're piloting, Curry expertise and rock-solid design means the parts will do their job so you can do yours. Check out Curry's custom rear ends, featuring a full line of upgrades, components, and installations options. The Curry Crate Rear Ends lineup offers ultra-strong construction on third members and carrier assemblies. And other underside parts, like correct link steering systems, keep your four-wheeler pointed where you want it. Add in a wide variety of solid, purpose-built suspension and brake components, and you've got one tough, ready-to-go machine. Grab a hold of a Curry Rear End. Talk to the experts at 714-367-2679 or view the complete line online at curryenterprises.com.
I'm Gary Selzy, and you're watching Speed Scene Live. Hi, I'm Dominic Selzy, and you're watching Speed Scene Live. Hi, my name's Giovanni Selzy, and you're watching Speed Scene Live, and my dad's all washed up. What? <laughs> Welcome back to more of Speed Scene Live, the number one online drag racing TV show. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, m &H Tires, Hedman Hustler Headers, and TheFoat.com. Wow, what a packed show, man. We had, to, we had to shoehorn this thing in, and I tell you what, it took most of showtime just to find a shoehorn. I know, you know how this, try this show prep. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I'm Bruce Barker. Donnie Couch is in studio. There's Lucky Hudson, Kelly Inman from my... Hey, give me the official name now, too. The uh, the official name of the, the location the at Industry Speedway. Speedway. It's Industry Race. Racing at the Grand Arena Industry Hills Expo Center. Oh, I love wow. it. Wow. Yeah, I love it. That's nine lines on the I character thought it generator was for the Kelly's year. Arena. Oh, it's Kelly's that's Arena. That's all I call it. Oh, that's and uh, Bob Beck is here as well for the Great American Auto scene. Now, so now Kelly, great. we've got. A, I'm, I'm getting a crew updates on the photo.com, and they'd like to know what's the cost for a spectator event to come out and watch your your races. Uh, adults are ten dollars only. Wow. Jeez. Twelve and under are free. Huh. Wow. So a guy could show up with his kids. He, the kids get in for free. He pays ten bucks. Good deal. Oh, it's a great deal. We've got really inexpensive drinks, as Don oh. knows. Yeah, um, he would. Great food. He, he know. And uh, he knows that too. Yeah, you can you can show up there for <laughs> for thirty five bucks with a family and have a have an insane uh, just a fun night of of entertainment. Uh, where is the location? Uh, we're off of Temple Af Avenue. We're just uh, a few miles north of the 60 Freeway in between Hacienda and Azusa in uh, the city of industry. Real close to the freeway, right off the freeway. Beautiful park-like location. Now, I understand that a lot of times when people go out there, they see celebrities hanging out, watching the races. I know I've been there several times. You know, Brett Big Schwag Wagner yeah. watches the he, races well, he there. he was a grand marshal out there for us one time. He, he was. He, he, You know, there's Linda all Vaughan. kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. in fact, uh, <laughs> didn't you run into one of the uh, uh, reality stars out there? Barry one from Storage Wars. He's a big fan of all motorsports. Sports, but uh, at most speedway races, you can find Barry out there with his posse. Hey, here we are, man. It's uh, the it's winding down here tonight. We're having fun out here at Industry Hills, and who do we run into? Captain Fun, Barry Wise from Story George, and it seems like every time we're at a speedway race, Barry's hanging around. Barry, what, what's the attraction to Speedway? Well, you know, actually, I've been going to Speedway. Uh, in the late 60s, early 70s. Since then, I mean, Coach DeMesa, even before that, Whiteman Stadium. Uh, and just been a fan forever, you know, and I get a kick out of it when somebody will say, hey, uh, what are you doing here? Is this your first Speedway race? I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 But no, I've been a fan forever. And of, of all two-wheel motorsports, uh, MotoGP, uh, big fan of that. Supercross next weekend, Anaheim, I'll be there. And I've just always had a, a passion for uh, motorsports and, and cars as well. But uh, I love this, man. I see you at the drag races. I see you at Barrett Jackson. Yeah. I'm hanging out there with Daryl Gwynn. Here comes Barry stealing the show I tell you in front what, of everybody. Man, I, I've been into it way before I was digging around uh, storage units. But, uh, no, this is great. The Europeans are here, and just the place is packed, and uh, great, great evening with a bunch of energy, and I love it. I figured you found a Speedway bike in one of those storage lockers, and you brought it out here. <laughs> no, such lock. Huh? no such luck. No such luck. <laughs> well, he thought he had a Harley that one time, remember? <laughs> yeah, he's a fun guy, man. And uh, Now, uh, you mentioned that the Americans beat the Europeans in this race, and we've actually got an interview with Greg Hancock. Now, uh, Donnie, tell me a little bit about Greg Hancock. Uh, a world champion. You know, Kelly could probably tell you more. He was uh, involved with him pretty tight there as a mechanic and helped him with his career and stuff but I don't know him that well but a great writer the fans all love him and uh, you know all these guys the fans all love these guys and uh, the top three riders are at Industry Hills racing every weekend so yeah. well here here he is on the podium and uh, let's let, hear what he says hey, we're here tonight with Greg Hancock he's on the podium tonight Greg what's your thoughts after all this is said and done the biggest speedway race we've seen in Southern California 
Well, I mean, this is, uh, this is probably the biggest thing, like you said, and that, you know, we had the World Team Championship back in the late 80s, or mid and late 80s, and to have this here tonight, you've got all the top stars from around the world and uh, the guys that are competing in the World Championship. You know, this is like, it's intense. You can see the, the way the fans were reacting, and I mean, the, the riders, there was so much atmosphere in the pits, even for the kids. Yeah, it was pretty intense just getting in the gate. The event was sold out, wall to wall. They were five deep on the fence. You, you got to just love this whole Monster Energy vibe. Uh, you know, Monster is, uh, everybody knows Monster, you know, and this is what they did tonight. It's just a, uh, an example of what they can do for our sport and what they are doing for it already. So they're huge on the international, the world championship already, and here they are uh, pushing the American Speedway. So this, this is a big step forward. Thanks, Monster, for that. Well, Greg's been a guest on the show. He called in right before the race to help promo the event, and we appreciate that. And uh, maybe uh, when we get caught up, you can come in studio and be our guest. Oh man, I'd love to, man. I'd love to go out there, and you guys know me. Once you start, once you get me going, I don't stop. <laughs> All right, that's Greg Hancock on the podium. Now, uh, Kelly, you're going to have this event again this year. It's the same kind of deal. The European riders coming on over. Oh yeah, absolutely. We're uh, I'm already working on it. It'll be December 28th, and uh, I, I'm I'm really excited about it as um, as a lot of people are that went to it and have heard about it throughout the industry. I, I'm just super stoked. We've got some big name guys that'll that'll be there that I'll be announcing soon. Now, tell, tell everyone what's the website that they can go to to find out more information about uh, your City of Industry race. It's industryracing.com. It's a great website with a lot of information. You can get on a mailing list and uh, always be up to date. And the season officially starts a week from tomorrow. Oh, here's the Harley. So yeah. this is the deal where you say, hey, if you're here, you're watching the races, and you rode a Harley, bring your bike out. And we'll let you drive it fast in a circle on loose dirt. Did he already <laughs> dump it? Yeah. Oh. Well, there were some serious crashes, especially on the last lap. And uh, the guy was taking the victory lap and also crashed. So it was pretty oh, exciting. Oh, he got wiped out. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, big, heavy bikes like that. Maybe a couple Budweiser's. Deadly combination. <laughs> yeah. 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 Deadly it combination. Is. Now, I've noticed it because I often will ride my Harley when I go out to watch the races. Don't you have free parking for Harleys? Yeah, free secure parking. It's a, a gated facility, um, and so nobody has to worry about that. And parking is oh. only three dollars for cars. Yeah, Dang. and it's uh, asphalt parking. You're not parking in the dirt. And Kelly's got 13 races scheduled this year, plus a couple others that he throws in their state championships and uh, maybe a junior race. Uh, you know, there's a, a lot of kids in these events in the division. Three, I guess it is Kelly, and well, the kids uh, have their their own program with uh, the Junior Speedway 250 CC motors. Um, we have the 150 mini, mini Speedway, and we run Pee Wees. Um, we really push the the youth, get the kids involved, and and uh, get them into it. You know, it's the future of our sport. That's right. Excellent point. Excellent point. You know, people always talking about future. Where's the? What's the future of drag racing? What's the future of sprint car racing? You know, uh, all kinds of stuff. Well, the future's out there right now. They're in school. They're learning math. They're learning how to spell. And you got to get out there and reach them and inspire them. So that's cool that you guys do a deal. Um, I'm hoping that maybe the kids won't have to wear a helmet with bullhorns on it, like the guy yeah. in the back here. Well, that's when he hits the dirty sticks. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. that's, uh, you know, the first pileup, somebody's going to be really yeah, unhappy that's about that. what they call that. sticking it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say the least. Hopefully he doesn't rear in someone. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, nice pass on the inside. It's, it's pretty it's funny stuff. The running of the bulls. Yeah. Yeah. His nickname's the horny guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> imagine. Good call, Kelly. <laughs> Subtle yet effective. Now, what, yeah. what kind of speed do the speedway bikes run on this track? Not uh, these, the real ones. The real ones. The guys that actually know what they're doing. They. Uh, oh! they oh! Yeah. Yeah. It's all. This stuff's always entertaining. The crowd goes nuts for the Harleys. The ego challenge. It is speedway bikes on the track that we run, uh, Costa Mesa. Pirate uh, and whatnot, they're usually up around 60, 65 miles an hour. We've had them clocked at 62 regularly. Well, this guy's going to have to get a AAA tow home. I think you're right. He broke some parts off that yeah. thing. Yeah. 
Hey, of course, that's 60 miles an hour, Bob, and they're yeah. sideways. The I know. Time, it's 60 so miles. Yeah, it, uh, same speed in the corners as they, they are on the they straight. They probably go a little faster when they get hooked up in the straightaway, but hang on in that corner, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, It's really good. It's, it's exciting. Uh, every night uh, consists of anywhere between 30 and maybe 40, 45 races. It's a lot of races for fans to watch. Man, that is a uh, lot of races. Lot of they're, they're really quick. Uh, there's always something going and always a new race. It's, it's a... Um, it's the spectator sport. Wow. So that means, of course, with all those different races, you're always changing up classes, and people get to see different styles of racing as well. It's not just like the same bikes are pulling out, you know, and, and it's well, another it? group of four or six or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, how many, how many bikes do you normally have qualifying for one uh, Speedway race? Uh, well, we get anywhere between 40 and 50 riders on a night, and it's four races uh, per event. Um, or per race, I should right. say, uh, for scratch race. And then we have a handicap race in which uh, the guys start at different yard lines according to their skill level. So Donnie would start at lap three, about three quarters of the way through. Uh, no, ahead. Ahead, <laughs> yeah. Ahead, yeah. Uh, hey, hey uh, we've got a uh, caller on line one, a uh, gentleman by the name of Maxwell, and uh, he'd like to call in. So, uh, Maxwell, welcome to Speed Scene Live. How's it going? We're doing great. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, well, I'm 16 years old. I just started racing the Pro Division in Speedway. Just trying to live life every day and have fun while racing. Are you a pretty good rider? Oh, I'd say I get around the track pretty well. No, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah nice. Hey, yeah, Lucky, I'm telling you, I don't know this kid, never seen him race or sure. nothing, but I've been hearing this name kicked around here recently that this is the kid to watch. Kelly, you might want to add to that. He is. He's the uh, he's the little prodigy, the hot shoe. Um, young, really smart. He's every promoter's and sponsor's dream. Uh, the way he is with the fans, uh, with the other riders. He's the first one to go up and high five a kid that beat him, and he'll he'll help give him the bump and and uh, yeah, the kid's just amazing. And he's he's uh, he's hell on wheels. The kid's smart. He's going to go a long way in Speedway. Wow, Max. Uh, Kelly's talking like, uh, you know, maybe he owes you some money and he's trying to, <laughs> you know, pay a little off right now on the show. <laughs> what bike are you riding, uh, Maxwell? Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. He's just, just having fun with racing. Just trying to get used to everything on the big bike. Uh, you know, just having fun, really. On the big bike. What was? What's the big bike? What do you run? Um, compared to what I used to run, it's a 500cc speedo bike. Uh, what I used to ride in the with the youth division is a 250cc. Huh. Okay. That's a step up. So, Max, you're going to be at the first race on May 29th there at Industry? Of course. Who, who, who would miss it? Uh, well, we're not going to miss it, but, you know, we'd like to catch you out there. You're the, the new buzz out there. Besides my little hero, uh, hero Maverick Malloy, <laughs> now, you know, we got to start following you, too. So uh, we wish you good luck. We appreciate you calling into the show, and uh, maybe we can do a, a speed scene interview in the pits out there. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, we'll send our camera crew out there and get uh, some footage of you going down the track. Ken, you hear me? you got to go to Irwindale yeah. next week. <laughs> yeah. Now, Maxwell, you got any sponsors yet? Oh, yeah, i got a couple. Why don't you, you go okay? ahead and mention them so that they get some um, exposure? All right, cool. I got, I'd just like to thank everybody, including Joker Machine, Hagen Shot, Lucas Oil, Rob Fiesler, Backman Photos, T-Rod, uh, Mike Baker, Mike from Oakley, uh, my dad's company, r and R N D E, um, a couple of families, Austin and Mike Nevado, Billy Hamill, Brock and Doug Nickel, and most of all, Mom and Dad. You, you need a bigger bike to put all these stickers. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maxwell, thanks a lot for calling in. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you later, and we'll see you at the Industry Speedway at the Grand Arena, and it'll be coming up May 29th. Thanks, Maxwell. All right, for sure. Thank you. You know, uh, uh, Donnie, you mentioned Maverick Malloy, and uh, it's interesting. We just happen to have a video no of, way. of Maverick. In fact, uh, you know, he's cruising his bike around the track, and we get a chance to see him in action a little bit. And, uh, I mean, look at him. He's driving like a seasoned driver, and this was the very first event he rode this brand-new bike at. Well, I met him last year and uh, put him in the junior dragster. And he's already won a Wally, too. So he's got a lot of downs. Nice. Wally. Amazing. Well, let's talk to him now, see what he has to say. 
Okay, we've uh, finished up the night for the juniors. I'm here with Maverick Malloy and uh, the last race, the heat race. Finished second. He's got a brand new bike here. Maverick, what do you think of your new bike? Um, I love it. It's, uh, it's pretty powerful. It's fun. It's fast. I think I'll have a good season on it. Seems like you're getting the hang of it out there. You started out a little rough, but uh, started marching to the front and finishing second here at the biggest race in the world right now, and you're with all the biggest riders in the world. How do you feel about that, Maverick? I feel great. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, Kelly. Um, it's just a great night being at the pros. It's fun. It's a great time. Okay, Maverick. You got plenty of sponsors. I know your mom and dad helped you get here. Your dad's really been working hard. Who are your other sponsors that have helped you out? Um, I've got PM, Joker Machine, Pro Long, Black Flies, Spike. Obviously, mom and dad and Uncle Mike. We've got Donnie. Yeah, thanks for getting my name in there, Matt. But hey, all right, Maverick. Well, we're all proud of you. You're a guest on Speed Scene, so you're one of our favorites anyway. So you keep riding hard. We're going to follow you next year at all these races here at Industry Hills. All right, thanks, guys. How about you do a little shout-out? Hi, I'm Maverick Moore, and you're watching Speed Scene Live. <laughs> yeah, nice. Good. Nice. Now, look at here. He ponied up next to one of the monster girls. Yeah, he's not dumb. And uh, <laughs> he's up on the podium. So here he is, new bike, big international you know, race. And he managed to place really well that night. Man. Biggest race in the United States. He's on the podium That's next cool. to a monster girl. He's 11 years old. Oh, yeah, he got second on that night. It was oh, really wow. good. Yeah, that was a brand new bike, too, that they just got in from Billy Hamill. And he hadn't ridden it that much. A little test session. They were having trouble with the carburetor. He was fighting it. But, you know, he got it figured out. And it's a little bigger bike. And he found out he had a little more control with it. So Look at him. He's standing there right next to Diana Do uh, Dahlgren. That's Miss Supercross. Oh. How she, about She it? could be Miss Couch. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't want to have that Do Miss Supercross name stuck 16 on 16 will get your 20, Donnie. So that's right. Yeah, she hey. apparently goes for the younger man. What, what were those? Backpack. They're like condos now. Bro. Are they? What were I those backpacks know. that you're giving out there, Kelly? Uh, Oakley stepped up and gave us a really good prize pack for some of the kids. Uh, they got Oakley bags with goggles and glasses, sweet and tear offs, and all sorts of product. They also also uh, uh, put up a Oakley gearbox watch for the winner, and wow. and Billy Janeiro got that thing. Nice, oh, yeah. sweet. nice. Well, let's take a commercial break. When we come back, we've got a. Uh, Hot Rod Bob is going to give us the great American auto scene, and we've got more stuff, so hang in there. Hi, I'm Kylie from Industry Speedway, and I'd like you to come every Wednesday for Speedway, located at the City of Industry at the Grand. M&H Tires, makers of racing tires that give you the best bite for the buck. You've paid a lot for that horsepower. Make sure you use it all. M&H Tires has the best compounds available for maximum traction. Go to mandhtires.com. That's m-a-n-d-h-tires.com. Buy direct and save at the website and mention the speed scene for a 5% discount. That's right, mnhtires.com. Call them at 661-324-4773. M&H Tires has tech guys ready to answer your questions or to recommend the best tire for you. Slicks or DOT. M&H Tires has it all. M&H were the first to create racing tires for muscle cars and also the first to create racing tires for sport compact cars. Legendary M&H Tires. Shop online. Mention the speed scene and save 5%. Get the best racing tires, great personal service, and save 5%. Go to mandhtires.com or call them at 661-324-4773. mandhtires.com.
has served to defend our great country and our freedom. All of us here in the United States of America would like to offer our sincere appreciation for all that you do and all that you've done. To every family that has made a sacrifice for us, we thank you. Welcome back to more of Speed Scene Live, the number one online drag racing TV show. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, m and Tires, Hedman Hustler Headers, and TheFoat.com. Welcome back to the show, Speed Scene Live. Well, we do not have Brian Layden with the GotBypass.com off-road report tonight, but stay tuned. We'll be catching up with us later. He's going to do a live appearance in show. He's working up some guests for that. And we were supposed to play a shot of the Joe Lapone final round from NMCA West Pomona, and due to technical difficulties, we won't be able to do that. But we do have Mark Walters, and Mark Walton the Speed Scene Live. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate you having me on. And I know you guys are, are pressed pretty hard for time this evening, so I'll just get right to it. Uh, this is, you know, normally we talk about drag racing and what we're streaming, but this week I've got a, a special request to everybody out there. Of course, we all know about the uh, the tornadoes that went through Oklahoma yesterday, and yeah. earlier to, this afternoon I got a phone call from my buddy uh, Larry Smiley, who is the president of uh, Racers for Christ, and he uh, is putting together, they, they do several versions, of, of ministry there in Oklahoma, and one of the things that they do is they uh, they fix up uh, uh, donated vehicles and they give them to single moms and folks that, that need some help. And uh, the Lord has just put it on Larry's heart to uh, help the folks there and more. So he's looking for donations of vehicles, uh, cash, uh, parts, whatever, tires, you name it, whatever uh, folks want to give. And uh, you can go out to carcareministry.org car uh, and you'll, you'll find the phone number. The phone number is... Uh, Four zero five eight three four four three zero one. He said either give him a call or text him, and he will get back with you. But they're going to be doing some stuff tomorrow, and of course uh, on Saturday. Uh, any donations, anything that anybody wants to give to, to help out with the efforts there, he'd greatly appreciate it. Their home in between national events, you know, they just finished at uh, Topeka, and they're headed, where are they headed next? Uh, English Town, I believe. So uh, they're going to try and do what they can to help those folks out. Well, that's great that you're putting the word out there. And, of course, Americans love to help Americans in need. And, you know, I hear people in Oklahoma say, uh, you know, uh, we're okay, we're going to rebuild, everything will be great. But, unfortunately, there's a lot of damage, a lot of havoc, and, unfortunately, a lot of lives were lost. Yeah, and, and that's true. And, it's you know, if you've never seen that type of devastation, it's, it's hard to even express that. Uh, even seeing it on TV or in pictures, uh, when you see it firsthand, and, and I have seen that that level of destruction. And so anything that folks can do, like I said, uh, they can uh, go ahead and and get up with uh, uh, Larry, either the phone number again, 405-834-4301, uh, call or text him, carcareministry.org. Also, we've got the article on Drag Story. Uh, dot com and uh, we're just trying to get the word out there to everybody. I was on the uh, SHRA radio show uh, earlier uh, this evening, and uh, that was my big my big deal was to get the word out for those folks too. Nice. Well, we appreciate it, Mark. Actually, while we're talking, we're showing some of your work from uh, Bristol, Tennessee, Thunder Valley. You were doing the spring fling down there, and uh, some great video, multiple camera angles. Really nice stuff, and I see you've partnered up with the 1320 Go people. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, working with uh, uh, Harry and, and Kay Fair, uh, that's really kind of brought the whole thing together. Uh, you know, we used to, to, to multi, you know, put different layers on the screen, and we uh, figured out how to embed the, the live timing right there in the screen, wow. which really, you know, there were sync issues before because you're dealing with two different computers in two different places. And uh, they, they do a great job, and you can go out to their website, and they've got all kinds of uh, uh, 
memberships for different uh, levels. And, uh, you know, I tell people, look, especially the bracket guys, I mean, if you want to know what your competition is doing, you want to understand things, uh, knowledge is power in this business. And I know you know that just as well as I do, Scott. So, uh, you know, that's one of the things that the better you can be prepared, whether it's understanding the conditions or how your car works or what have you, then uh, the better off you're going to be. That's right. That's right. Well, I always recommend that people visit MotormaniaTV.com, and they can see all kinds of great stuff. And I tell everybody out there that uh, Mark is the best in the business. And when you look at this stuff, it is high quality, great angles, multiple angles. It's not that uh, old school, you know, one camera in the uh, corner of the uh, announcer's booth. This is the real deal. So I watch your stuff all the time. It's great stuff, and you really capture the excitement of these events. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a bunch. So one more time, give that contact info for the uh, the it, Oklahoma release. It's uh, 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 Chaplain Larry Smiley. His phone number is 405-834-41, and it's carcareministry.org. If you go out to the website, you, you uh, everything is right there as well. So, all righty. Nice. Thanks a lot, Mark. All right, thanks, Scott. I appreciate it. All right. Talk to you soon. Okay. Yep. Well, Bob, you know, Bye-bye. we were talking about uh, different types of things all night long, but right. don't you think it's time we start talking about the classic Woody? You bet. I'm Bob Beck, and you've got gas here on SpeedScenelive.com, and we're going to give you a couple of Woodies. So take a look at the screen and watch what we've got coming for you. Back in the early days of the car industry, a wooden-bodied vehicle started out as a commercial vehicle. They were hucksters. They were vegetable trucks. You had commercial vehicles of all types and the technology wasn't there so they made the bodies for these vehicles out of wood later on they started becoming popular because families needed something to carry the family in and all the goodies that go along with it so the woody wagon came about later on they were the high line vehicles at resorts and many other places but they really didn't catch on with families as much then in the 60s, the Beach Boys came out with their music, and the Woody became famous with Jan and Dean and the Beach Boys, and Hot Rodders latched onto them, surfers latched onto them, and the market is growing. There's even a whole market of aftermarket bodies for these. Now, not all Woody wagons were factories, such as this International. That was an international truck, and an aftermarket company would make the body for these. Trucks were great for these. They were big, they were strong, they were long. The technology for a strong steel body was too expensive but you could cut wood on a bandsaw and there you got it and you got woody so there's a lot of iterations of these mercuries were the high line woodies of the time they, they shared a lot of components with the ford but not that many and the merc was a great machine for those of you who remember the old tv show the mod squad the main character car in that movie or TV show was a Merc Woody. Then they ran it off a cliff. Oh, the sacrilege. S- sacrilege indeed. Not only were there wagons, but then the High Line Sport vehicle came out. And that was the the uh, Town and Country line. Oh, that's the Chrysler right. came out. Mm-hmm. The Ford Sportsman. Here's a Merc Woody. And they weren't just station wagons. Chrysler came out with a whole line of them. This one needs a little work, but I'll tell you what, this guy gets trophies every place he goes. It's a totally unrestored, and I think if he didn't have that many stickers on the windows, the windows would fall apart. <laughs> yeah. But this car is all patinaed, all original, unrestored, unmolested. He drives it everywhere, and this time he was at the show at the Grand National Roadster Show. So that's at what the we're seeing in shots here from? You're seeing a lot of shots from that and uh, all over the place. Buick. That was another Highline Woody, and the first Woody that I got that was actually a drivable thing, Woody, uh, it was a Buick. I had a 51. Yes, Donnie, I've, I've had... Never mind. It's we'll a family right show, along. Bob. I know it is. It is, I know. This is a phony Woody. Well, not a phony Woody. It's really wood, but... General Motors never made a two-door and never made one on this chassis. But guys have been really innovative and making up their own wooden station wagons. This is a beautiful 33-34 Ford Woody, and it is just amazing. They had suicide doors front and rear. This one also 33-34. But it is a faux woody as well. It's real wood, but it's a two-door. Interesting. You know, you got to get mileage somehow. Oh, and even oh, the Volkswagen geez. lends itself to being made into a woody. This one is 67 Beetle. <laughs> Interesting and, choice they did with the rear fender. That's just yeah, yeah. odd. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got wooden side skirts. 
Yeah. Wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bob. Yes. You know, Tony. if you go to John Force's car show or a yes, shop every year, I do. he's got a 34 Woody yeah. and the Raptors yeah. up there. Yeah, he does. He's got Very some great nice. stuff up there. He's got a rolling road show. Here's a Dodge truck. This was not a Chrysler product. The truck was, but an aftermarket bodybuilder would make the body. And there was a few of those Dodges there. They were quite popular back at the time. This is a model A Ford, not the way Ford intended it. Here's another 3334 with another aftermarket body. Now, one of the leading body manufacturers in wooden car out of Signal Hill, California. And Doug Carr makes some great reproduction woody bodies. He makes the two doors. He makes the original four doors. He makes a body for just about every type of wooden car available. Dang. Hey, I'm trying to think. The uh, the Jan and Dean, or was it the Beach yeah. Boys? I think it was Jan and Jan Dean. And Dean uh, uh, Surf four. City. Surf City. Here so we go. So that's the opening line. Okay, yeah. I was trying to think if it was 32 or 34. They did a 34, 34 Ford and they call 34 it a Woody. 34 wagon and they call yeah, it exactly. a Woody. Surf, Surf City, City, here we come. come. Well, God, I'll we're just, dating ourselves well, now. Please stop. Whoa. Please yeah. stop. 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 Please. The so Rolling Stones do not have to worry about us. Doheny Wood at Doheny Beach every year. This year, it was April 14th. We just missed it a few weeks ago. A high line very stately looking mercury wooden station wagon and here's that merc again from a different angle or a different merc very swoopy very swoopy this one's got a chop top and they took out the sliding side window oh, now this man. one is not a real woody the guy made this himself he had a four-door merc didn't know what else to do with it so he made the sides out of wood and you look at the car it looks like it would have been a factory machine man. chrysler did make four-door sedan wooden cars now, was was that part of the town and country line? Or part of the town and country line. They did it on the DeSoto, the Chrysler, and the Dodge bodies. Now, I think some of the other cars we aren't seeing a ton of here are, you know, like Packard's? Packard had been. wooden cars. All, car, all the manufacturers, except probably Studebaker, had a wooden station wagon. And, you know, we well, a few months back, we had the Willys on there. They went out with a steel body, the Tin Woody. They <laughs> embossed the steel to make it look like wood. That's right. And here's one of the great shows. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Yes, wait yes, a minute. Yes, 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 yes. The, uh, w Steel yes, was too expensive, so <laughs> they went yes. to wood. But one Early company yes. said, hey, why don't we make our steel look like wood? Right. Is that what you're telling me? In 1946, when the car production <laughs> started again, Willys came out with a low-cost station wagon. It was a two-door. Yes, Donnie. Hey. Yes. We, my neighbor, Bob Kennedy. Yes. Famous guy in the country uh -huh. for painting wood trim yes. on all the old cars. Lives right down the street from I, I got to have to talk to him because I got that Willys wagon. I got to get it. I, I don't I gotta, think he wants to talk to you. Go yeah, on with yeah, the show. Yeah, we'll go on with the show. <laughs> now, here's my Buick Woody from 19... It's a 51. This is the car I had when I was in high school or college. Wow. Isn't isn't that known a, as a semi Woody? Well, cr Buick used a lot more steel back in then because at first <laughs> when cars were built they didn't have the technology to make steel reinforcements in the body, so they used a lot of wood. The it's, Buicks, okay, so it's, and yeah, Pontiacs it's, and Oldsmobiles had more steel in the body, and the wood was more trim than anything else. Ford followed suit finally in 1949 and used wood on the exterior, but it wasn't structural. More you trim, know, less woody. It's, 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 it's getting fast. out of hand here. That's yeah. a pretty well, fat a car, but I don't want to put the word chubby <laughs> together <laughs> yeah. with the... No. No, We're well, not talking mind. about Donnie right now. We're talking about Woody's. Up oh. in the top left corner, there's my Morris Miner Woody. Oh, there's one that drives around the neighborhood of the studio here. Yep. This is a dark green one. They're neat. I mean, that one got me 40 miles per gallon, and I used to drive it all over the place. Yeah, and uh, so we got a couple of wagons that I Yeah, a couple steal. of the wagons. This was the one shot that I couldn't find the individual shots for those, so I sent all four shots at once. So I can see some of the wagons I had. Yeah, obviously the Buick had lots more wood on yep. the back of it that, that you can't see from the other shots. Right. The actual rear part of the body was structural. There was no steel there other than to bolt the wood to. Dang. So, so out of these four pictures, you yes. only get wood half the time. That's right. You only, yeah. <laughs> you know, you only get isn't there a pill for that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I found though? A lot of water though. You get it stuck water? in your throat and you, you get a do. stiff neck. Stiff neck. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> None of these cars are blue though. Yeah. Oh. Just remember, folks, it's hard to walk when you've got a Woody, but they're great cars, and you know, look around for them. They're they're neat to have. Wow. Wow. Well, that was Woo. a great segment. I I don't know. I somehow feel uncomfortable about it. FCC on line two, yeah. Bruce. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. All these guys in yes. the studio on the subject matter. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, how about those Lakers? Yeah. What about the, yeah. Oh, oh, well, let's, oh, oh, not the Lakers. Don't, don't they play on a wooden floor? <laughs> yeah. now, in, oh, Bob. Oh. Instead of talking about what's not going on, let's yeah. talk about what's going on. All what do right. you think, Bruce? Okay, that sounds good to me. Because we've got a segment called What's Going On, and it's brought mm-hmm. to you by Curry Rear Ends and Headman Hustler Headers, and also DragRaceResults.com. Now, Kelly, the most important thing that's going on a week from tomorrow night, the Grand Arena at Industry Racing, we're all going to be there. The camera crew is going to be there. You're going to be there. And the most talented racers in Southern California will be out there duking it out, huh? Uh, it's going to be great. I can't wait. we got 13 straight weeks, uh, Wednesday nights, and uh, you can get the info, like I said, industryracing.com. And now, uh, like we said, you've always got a lot of extra stuff going on. Will there be a band or a DJ before the event? We always have a live band before the events. Um, uh, they play up until race time. We have a live singer um, to do the national anthem, get us kicked off. We'll have uh, the mayor of the city there for the Grand Marshal this next Wednesday. Um, Bruce Penhall will be in uh. um, debuting one of his new his new company named after his son, uh, Connor Concrete. Mm. Um, so it, it, I, I'm really excited. We got a um, we got the, a good season coming up. A lot of big stuff in the works. And I tell all my friends, I said, hey, go out there early. You guys have great food for good prices. Really good Mexican food. Uh, great stuff. And you can show up, get some carne asada tacos, some burritos. Get, get get yourself a nice cold adult beverage. Kick back, watch the band for a little while, Talk and to then. Tommy. Talk to Donnie, and then boom, this opening ceremony, the events start happening. And these are quick events. These guys get up, they do a few laps, boom, that heat's over, they bring out the next heat. So you've got the kids, the adults, the sidecars, you've got all kinds of stuff going on. Tractor poles, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's really Fork exciting. Fork races. Really Fork. exciting. Now, uh, during the intermission in the middle, you guys always take a break so that people can go get something to eat, refill their drinks. And uh, I've seen uh, uh, sprint cars. I've seen uh, off-road trucks. I've seen ATVs. Do you know what you got scheduled for the first week? Well, we have Burt's Mega Mall is the presenting sponsor for opening night, and they will do a little exhibition probably with some UTVs, some of the small four-wheelers, uh, and they'll have uh, quite an extensive display um, at the arena and uh, with some people there for uh, any info you need on anything you, you may want from Burt's Mega Mall. Now, there's the kind of bike Donnie and I need to ride. I'll <laughs> challenge it. Best two out of three, Donnie. I got one. I could borrow Maverick Malloy's. There you go. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I yeah. These are some of the peewees. We we really um, we really chase after the kids and try to get them onto the track and give them something to do. And uh, the, all the kids end up leaving with a, a ribbon or a trophy every night, no matter what happens. Uh, it, it's really good. We love having them. You know, it's so cool to see these kids, and they're they're all decked out in their leathers, their helmets. I see a lot of them wearing head and neck supports, like I wear the Safety Solutions. Uh, but I know there's all different brands, but I, I like to see the kids with the head and neck support. Um, I see them walking around with that one metal shoe, you know. It's, you know, clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> and they're having a ball. Their friends are there. They're talking yep. to each other. They're just having a great time. And I especially like the way when you do the opening ceremony, you bring out each and every rider and introduce them by name, and they come down along the wall and give high fives to all the fans. Yeah, a lot of them riders end up having to wear a glove. They got numb hands mm. by the, the time the riders' parade is over. Oh, sure. It, it's super good. It it, yeah. it lets the fans, you know, meet up and see the riders before the event. The pits are open afterwards. You can go down there and sit on the bikes and get an autograph from your favorite rider, whether it's a junior oh, or cool. one of the top guys. Um, it, it's really interactive. Well, we got a great show for you next week. We're going to have a talk about the Barona Match Race yes. Madness, right, Bob? That's right. Steve Sherman's going to call in. We'll talk about match racing today. That's right. And we've also got Ken from Turtle Racing coming in. And this guy is an incredible athlete. He actually rides his motorcycle from San Diego to Mexico, 
wow. races the Baja 1000 by himself, mm. finishes the race, turns around, and rides back home. Oh, Unbelievable. Great story. He'll be live in studio. And don't forget the Speed Scene Live Nationals. I'm going to be heading on out there right after the weekend of the Super Chevy Show. And you can buy your Super Chevy Show uh, tickets, tech cards, everything. Come. Wow, wow, we're out of time again, we're just Lucky. About. Hey, you know, next this coming weekend, if you're going up to the West Coast Nationals in Santa Maria, stop by, say hi. I'm going to be there. Oh, yeah. I have a booth inside one of the buildings. Nice. They haven't told me which one yet. It might even be the one where the show is. <laughs> that would help. It helps, yes. <laughs> and, Donnie, right. you will be out at the uh, Industry Speedway. You're going to be out there filming. You're going to be capturing all this stuff, maybe get some more interviews. Had me on assignment. I've been everywhere. We'll be showing that footage with Dar on June 11th, pro- promo on the uh, Bakersfield uh, Night of Nitro deal. Uh, but yeah. in the meantime, after yeah. the Rolling Stones concert last night, I'm, I'm probably looking for a new liver on Craigslist. But I will be <laughs> yeah. at Industry Hills every race. It's so much fun, and it's close to the house. And next week, we're going to have your footage from the NMCA Pomona event. So yep. a lot of great stuff coming up. Tune in each and every week. If you miss the show, catch it on the archives anytime. Watch it on your phone or mobile device, anywhere you want to. Kelly, want to thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I, I'm excited to be back here at Speed Scene Live, and I will be back. You'll be back. <laughs> I'll <Nice>. be back. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, the encore presentation of the show. In case you missed any of the uh, show that is now ending, it begins again in just a couple of minutes. Uh, be sure to check the archives page right here at speedscenelive.com for the four most recent shows. If you want to jump back farther than that, we got a ton of them on our YouTube channel. You'll find the links right here at Speed Scene Live. From all of us here at Speed Scene Live, thanks for joining us tonight. We're live again one week from right now, right here. Good night, everybody. Speed Scene Live TV, the number one online motorsports TV show. Brought to you by Curry Racing Rear Ends, m Tires, and TheFolk.com.